Hello everyone, I just wanted to give a quick update about some of the upgrades I've done to my bike along with the toolbox that I've been using this entire time that I've been uh, kind of on uh, travel for work. So I just kind of get over some of the stuff I've done and why I decided to pick them. So pretty much start from the top. So the handlebars got changed out for a set of full speed ahead uh, FSA Comet low riser bars. They're 740 millimeter, 31.8 millimeters, the 15 degree uh, rise. They're pretty good considering what I had before. Plus they look a hell of a lot better. Attached to that, we have a pair of ODI Elite uh, Elite Pro grips. They're pretty good, the lock on grips. I don't have any issues with them. The old ones weren't bad, but I would notice that a lot of times my hand would go numb. These have been working a lot better, to be honest. So far, I've kept the uh, stem mostly the same. I haven't really felt the need to swap that out for any reason. Uh, it's been holding up fine. I might switch it out eventually, but not just yet. Uh, for the fork, we have the SR Suntour XCR32 stanchions, which are these. They only have 100 millimeters of travel, but I'm looking to change that out eventually for another, for a different one. What I've changed out so far on the front is the actual tire itself. Went with the Maxxis DHR2. Uh, the reason I chose these is because they're tubeless ready, and I actually want to convert this bike into tubeless at some point. The first thing I noticed when I put the tires on is they're extremely heavy. They're much more heavier than the ground control tires that came with the bike. Since we're on the topic of tires anyways, the one in the back is an Maxxis Aggressor. They're both 27.5 with 2.3 in the back, 2.4 in the front. Uh, I kind of like it better that way. I think I'm going to keep it that way. I don't really feel the need to go any higher than that. I really don't. The bike came equipped originally with a 9-speed. It's a clutchless, so as you can see, a lot of play in the chain on that one. I do plan to swap that out maybe in the next two weeks or so. But in the meantime, it is what it is. For the cranks themselves, I actually swapped out for a pair of IXF cranks. They came with their own internal bottom bracket. They weren't too expensive. They're actually a pretty reasonable price. I just went with them because I had to pick something up in a kind of hurry. I might swap them out later. They're attached to a pair of Race Face Chester pedals, which are pretty dope ass pedals if you ask me. And I think they're pretty cool. And uh, for right there, we have a race face 32 tooth chain ring. Uh, I was going to go for oval, but I ended up going for the race face instead, just because I needed something in a hurry. The bike originally came with a two speed. I don't know if you could see, but uh, the two speed in the front, it was, it was pretty bad, honestly. It would never shift when I needed to. And it was pretty unreliable. So I ended up swapping it for this setup in the front, just for the meantime, because I need something more reliable. On top of all that, we have Ergon Enduro Sato. It's not bad, I like it. It wasn't too expensive, but at the same time, like I just wanted to swap what it had originally. And I've been doing all this stuff with this bike hand professional bicycle toolkit, the YC. 799AB. Pretty much got everything I needed to do, basic maintenance stuff. It wasn't bad. I, I really enjoyed uh, everything that it came with. It came with a lot of stuff that I thought was super useful. I think the most useful thing that actually sold me on this one was that it actually came equipped with its very own torque wrench. So I've used this a bunch of times. It only goes up for two, I think. 24, 24 newton meters, but so far it's done everything I needed to do. I've got no complaints. I plan on using this toolbox for a lot longer. Uh, this is what I use to swap out the 2x system in the front. Uh, right with the, uh, it was called the uh, crank puller tools there. I've pretty much got everything I needed to do, basic maintenance stuff. I just wanted to go over some of the stuff I did on my bike. Uh, really had fun doing it. The bike's turned out to be a lot better as a result. Uh, 
uh, the only things that I've noticed were different was as soon as I put those new tires on, the bike got immediately heavier. As soon as I do uh, swap it out the tubeless, I may actually try to do a weight check just to see what it's at. But uh, yeah, that's about it. This was just a quick run do over some of the stuff I chose and why I chose them. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, answer as many as I can. Let you know if you guys are interested. I'll let you know. Uh, you can ask where I got these. I got these on Amazon because there's no local bike uh, bike shop in the area, so I had to buy everything online and do it myself. And uh, I got no problem sharing the links. If any of you guys want to know? All right. Thank you, and have a good day.